Good morning. So, we uh, kind of started the day a bit further up the coast and uh, basically I woke up at four o'clock this morning and thought, oh, do you know what, I'm not just going to lay here sitting on Facebook, I'm going to get out of the camera. I was meant to be going out tomorrow and catching up with some mates and we're going to have a bit of a laugh. But, uh, yeah, you know how it goes. I thought, well, I'm up, might as well head out. And, uh, yeah, didn't really look at any with the tides. Had a rough idea what they were doing. So, just headed straight up the coast. Ended up up at, near Sheringham, uh, West Runton. But, it didn't really pay off. Wasn't a lot going on with the water. Tides were quite far out. A bit further than I thought it was going to be. I thought it would be a bit, a bit closer in than this. So, jumped back in the motor. Headed down here to Overstrand. Hoping to get something a little bit better. But, lo and behold, it's not that much better. The water is just catching up now at the bottom of the sea defences over there. Have a little look. You see what I mean? It is... Um, yeah, it's not the best of mornings for catching the tides, but we'll always make something of it, see what we can do. And this is a spot I know quite well. There's a few nice compositions to be had here, I mean, as there is most places, but here we can get the water just crashing up around the uh, sea defences just there, and we can see what we can do. So what I think we're doing is pushing up tight down the sea defence down there off to my left and uh, yeah we can see what we can capture from that so uh, yeah so I'm going to get pushed down there now and then shoot hopefully into a bit of colour just catching the edge of the sea defence as well now oh, very silly I just changed out of my boots thinking the tide was going to be up a bit higher here and uh, put my walking boots on oh that's why you need to be careful look huh? it's uh, very easy to slip. Once we get out this bottom bit here, we're all good. There we go. And uh, yeah, we can push down on the beach, get ourselves set up and see what we can shoot. This stinky dog go. <laughs> Ready, steady, go. She's having a good time anyway. But yeah, it's not one of those, uh, get up nice and early, see what you can shoot, have a nice time regardless times, isn't it? It's uh, definitely, nice just to be out getting a bit of fresh air seeing what we can do it's what it's all about isn't it it's certainly not about uh, sitting indoors all the time not doing a lot but I certainly can feel a few splashes of rain on me but uh, yeah just see what I can work out with this composition here but there's got to be something we can do I want to get on top of that groin really but uh, it's uh, that might be a slightly harder task than I imagined. The cloud is sort of thinning out a tiny little bit right above us, so we've got a few things we could do here. It's just a give me a matter of uh, working out what to do, really, I think. So now, what I'm really sort of doing is just trying to catch some of this sky, the water running down the edge of the frame as well. I've gone for the, uh, there's a groin right in front of me, that's right through the middle of my frame on here as well. Exposure wise, well, it's going to be slightly longer, just to catch some of that movement that we've got going on there as well. And uh, just getting everything set up on here. So 
So now all I'm trying to do really is just get some of the C defense in the shot. I'm not going to shoot the full width of this lens here. I'm going to bring it in just a little bit because I'm not wanting to really get the right down the far right. You can see some of the cliffs down there. And I'm not really want to get all them in the shot. What I am hoping to do though is drop a grad on for the sky and I'm hoping that is just going to balance out foreground and sky. With that, we should get a bit of moodiness going on with it. So ISO is currently at 250, so we can definitely drop that down a little bit as well. So I've currently got a dog photobombing me as well at the moment, which we don't really need. Peppa! See, Peppa's now out of the frame as well. So I don't think this is really going to be an absolute masterpiece, but it is slowly coming together. I think I am going to have to use a six stop though, because the shutter speed I'm currently getting is not down far enough. It's uh, still on like a fourth of a second, fifth of a second round about there. And uh, I can always pump up the ISO, open up the aperture just a little bit. So I'm wanting to try and get about five or six seconds, which I'm now getting five seconds. And now I just need to wait for this water just to push up. When the water pushes up, we can then get ready to shoot, hopefully catch the water, then pull them backwards as well. With around about a five second exposure, the sky is gonna keep its shape, it's not too long an exposure as well. With that, we're gonna be well away with uh, everything we sort of really wanted from the shot. If you're watching this water now, it is slowly starting to come up. Tide is coming in for the shoot today as well. We can just shoot a quick test shot just to see what we're getting, exposure-wise, detail-wise as well. It's always good just to be making sure you're getting everything sorted out as you shoot along as well. That's it, that's looking pretty good there. So all we need now to do is just wait for this one wave to come up and then we should be good to go. So now just getting my tripod into position as well and that's going to give us a good bit of ele elevation. So you've got to be mindful of where you set the tripod up as well. If you, uh, everything's got to be nice and level. Just making sure my camera back's okay there because it is getting a little bit up with the water. So I said I was going to shoot this in portrait but actually now I'm up here seeing this in landscape this is really really nice and uh, you probably hear Pepper whining at me there as well biggest thing here really is going to be to try and get there's a line running right through the middle of the photo as well which is the it's going to be to get that bang on as we can just double checking so looking on our third tier, which I don't always sort of work to, but for this image here, I think it's going to really be a benefit to uh, be thinking about our thirds on here. We've got two thirds land, one third of the, uh, of the sky as well. Also, you've got to be thinking about what's the thing that's most interesting in here? It's the actual sea defences. You don't want to be getting loads of sky in. The sky is grey and boring today. We want to be thinking about get capturing the movement as the water wishes back out to the sea right underneath us oh my god i've just got that in the first photo so exactly what i was wanting to shoot i am going to try and just get a couple more see what else we get from here as well but that is pretty much the shot i wanted so water's come right the way up it's come up it's come up it's come up we've got to wait for it yet to go back down 
got my camera bags, actually got water <laughs> on the straps. They're going to be nice and comfy on the way back. But we've just got another one there. We've uh, pushed a little bit further towards Cromer, the opposite way, so we've come two groins over from where we were before. And uh, a little bit of a hike, stopping down here for the gear. But we're now able to get on top of this one here, much shorter seed defence here, a groin to stand on. Same principle with the shot. Every reason I come down here for is I can see a really nice shot up there, but it's going to be 15, 20 minutes until that one's there, it's good to go. So I thought, you know what, let's just try this one here, shoot it on top of here. This one's dead straight. That one's got a dog leg in it, so it's really nice and different on there. And it's also got the red bit on the end, but I thought I'll get up on here, see what we can do for getting a nice shot. And uh, yeah, so I'm quickly going to jump up and uh, see what I can do. Wow, have a look at that. That's where we were earlier on. We've now got this beautiful God's rays coming right across the shot. So I'm going to be quick before they disappear. What I'm hoping for is to get some of this water from the sea coming right up to the tripod here on the shot. And uh, for a little bit of luck, it should uh, make quite a nice photo with that light bouncing off of that push down a bit to the left get some of that light over the actual end of the groin as well see what we can get so just setting this shot up now seeing what we can get from it oh that's looking pretty nice that it's just a case of getting probably knocks on here oh aperture's on Automatic, that's right. Alright, F. Second is there. Now it's just a case of, we've got to hope this water comes up far enough. And looks like it's going to deliver quite quickly on there as well. it's looking really nice on there what I'm going to do though is quickly swap out the reverse grad for the hard grad because that light where that is is uh, right in the middle of the frame and uh, the top part is darker so the reverse grad is going to work really well hopefully for the shot here Ah, oh, that's better. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so I'm going to get this shot, see what I can do. the lens background now I've got the uh, 1024 on probably going to be shooting around about 11 12 mil on here get myself in position getting the tripod all set up is key as well and just watching my uh, tripod with the camera on it just over there as well because the sea is just starting to pick up a little bit now as well but make sure we've got no vignette on there i think i might have left this one a little bit too late for getting the shot but we can see six second exposure nice and simple tripod though one leg's all the way up, 
other two legs splayed all the way down as well with that tripod's nice and stable especially when you're working on a peculiar angle like this and uh, you've got above the water you want to be making sure that base plate on the top of your tripod is nice and level the last thing you want to be doing is having a bit of an incident where your uh, tripod's coming loose god knows what could end up happening then it's never going to be a pretty sight tripod needs to always be stable and as level as possible so just try for one last little bit i've got my main photo that i really wanted from here as well we're now just double checking our grads all in place making sure horizon is as good as can be it does need just to be splayed out just a little bit more and obviously we need to just drop the leg down give us a bit of play in the ball head from there we should be good to go Well, so uh, this has been Overstrand, and uh, yeah, to save me breaking a habit of a lifetime, got my last photo, and I knew I'd left it a little bit too late to be uh, to be getting the camera off the tripod, back from the water. I grabbed the tripod just as a wave just hit my feet. The water has just filled right inside the boots. But do you know what? I don't really care to be honest. Having a really nice day. It's been a bit of a uh, bit of a long week, really. All this coronavirus photography show. I should have been there today, and uh, obviously that got cancelled. I know it's an absolutely horrific one for the businesses and all that, but uh, hey, it's been rescheduled to September. And uh, like I say, I've got a really weak immune system. I was before they even cancelled it. I was in two minds. I was asking about it. What other people were doing because i was a bit unsure about my decision but uh yeah i mean i was pretty much decided i wasn't going to go and i was a bit gutted i was going to miss it but fingers crossed everything's okay for september but yeah i mean this location here it just keeps giving and giving i've been here so many times before and uh yeah just really really enjoy being here it's so nice it's peaceful Pepper can run off her league and have a really, really nice time. Okay, you get other people coming down here as well. So it's all good. It's all really, really good. So, as always, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Even better, hit the share button. Get your friends to subscribe as well. It's just my adventures. It's just what I get up to. Really enjoy people being able to see what I get up to. So many people say they see places where I go to and they, it makes them want to go there as well. If you've got any questions about places to be going, always ask. I'm always up for helping people out. It's why I do these, uh, these vlogs or these sort of this little journal sort of thing. It's about people being able to enjoy the great outdoors and just, just, yeah, just have a nice time. It's, uh, it's nice to be out on the coast at six o'clock in the morning, making the most of the weather. It's what it's all about. So, all the best. Take care. See you later.